Well, the real issue here is context and asymmetry. So nobody has got a problem with us poking fun at politicians. It's actually a national sport. But the issue is the context of it. You know, this was a photo of an incredibly important meeting which will pretty much decide the future of the UK. And the Mail decided to respond by completely trivialising it. And yes, granted, the Mail do take umbrage and poke fun at male, uh, male politicians' bodies, but they don't do it on the front page at a very important meeting, you know, which is about the future of our country. So it's about that. That's the issue. It's not that we mind people sending up people's bodies, you know, or commenting on their shoes or their dress. We all know that when we work in the public eye, we are going to be, you know, we're going to be taken apart. And, and Theresa May and Nicola Sturgeon are aware of that. But it's actually detracting from the real story. There's a really important piece of reporting here to do, and it's not being done. OK, Nikki, that's that. Peter, you've been shaking your head for about the last minute while Nikki's been speaking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, look, I have to say, this is not proof of sexism. It's just the media age we live in. All public figures are put through the same level of physical scrutiny, whether they're male, female, or any of the other 57 genders out there. Just look at Donald Trump. People assess him on his hair, on the size of his hands, even the size of his penis. This sort of criticism would never, ever happen to a woman. So female politicians are frequently safeguarded from the levels of criticism that men get. And a lot of the perpetually offended might do well to remember that. Peter, is that a good enough excuse that it's just how things are nowadays? That's quite a lazy argument, is it not? And is it not the same argument that perhaps was used previously when women wanted the vote and when women wanted to go to work and women wanted to get into politics? The it's just how it is is a pretty weak excuse, is it not? No, I don't think so at all. I mean, you have to look at the fact that it was a female journalist who actually wrote this article. And it was an aside, it was a playful aside to some very serious journalism about the Brexit talks. And there is room for humour within political journalism. And, and thankfully, the, the Daily Mail, for all its faults, it isn't po phase like the BBC and The Guardian. And, and I think it was just a bit of fun and okay. people need to just lighten up. OK, Nikki, um, Peter did allude to Donald Trump and, you know, the Mail themselves said that they've taken the mick out of Cameron and Corbyn. And, and is there an argument here that we, we aren't as... Uh, we don't put as much scrutiny on, on when it comes to men. You know, Justin Trudeau is a classic example. He's a good-looking guy, in many people's opinion. And I remember only a few weeks ago a viral story about Justin Trudeau in his teens, topless. It was, went viral on Twitter, it went viral on social media, saying, look at this great-looking guy. Yeah, but again, I think Peter's missing the subtlety of the argument. It's about the context. And him saying, oh, you know, there was plenty of good political reporting surrounding this image. It's the cover image on the paper that sells the most copies in Britain. It has so much influence, you know, and to underestimate the power of that image is just to be complete na completely naive about how the media works. Yes, it's true that Trump is taken apart for his appearance, but not on a cover story about him activating, a, you know, a super important clause which will dictate the future of our nation. OK, OK. Are Pete you kidding? Go, go ahead, Peter. <laughs> Are you joking? When he, <laughs> well, where's the when comparison, he, when Peter? He was Give me the okay, competing in, in story. Nicky, when Nicky, he was on, you taking you part in the democratic... Go ahead, Peter, sorry. When he was taking part in the... De it, when he was taking part in the presidential debates, he was absolutely ridiculed on a world platform and many feminists took part in ridiculing him. And they are the same people now who are saying, oh my goodness, I am so outraged by what's happening. They're such hypocrites. It just goes to show that many of the critics of today's Daily Mail, they're not third wave feminists, they're third right feminists. Nikki, your response? Well, I, you know, I don't think Trump was pulled apart for his actual appearance, like commented on his body parts, like the way that women are routinely. This is what this story is about. It's the asymmetry. Yes, he was. Yes, you know, we've, we've, we're, going back, we're going around in circles here, but the point is women's bodies are routinely objectified, criticised. You know, the Daily Mail runs a sidebar of shame, which is basically all about making people feel rubbish about their appearance. Peter, Nikki you know, has that, a... That makes it sorry so to... much money. It's so significant to its S operations. Sorry to interrupt you, Nikki, but Peter, Nikki has a point. You won't be able to see uh, this, I don't Thing, but if we can hold it up here in the studio, this is the, the centre page of the story from the Daily Mail today, if we can have a look. Um, now, the, the, the right-hand side of the page on your screen is about the meeting between Mrs May and Nicholas Sturgeon, um, but the whole of the other page, over half, 
is to do with their battle of the blue blazers and their legs and their shoes. It's lazy journalism, Peter, is it not? We don't... What does it matter what blue blazers they're wearing, what shoes they're wearing? Is it? it yeah. It's called psychology it, well, as well. I mean, hold on, hold on, it's Nikki, lazy journalism. Go ahead, Peter. Uh, Nikki, it's, it's sexist to interrupt. Uh, if it's such lazy journalism, then why are you guys at Sky even covering it? The point is, look, this is a female journalist. She decided to write this. What are we saying? Are we going to limit what female journalists can write about? OK, I'm afraid we're, we're, we're rapidly it. running out of time, but I want to thank you both very much for joining us. I do apologise. Timing has got the better of us. Hello, my name is Jay. I'm social justice race. Agree with me or you'll be shamed. Hello, my name is Jay. I'm social justice race.